Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today we're going to continue our lesson on piano, the second lesson, and today I'm going to show you how you can play full octaves with just five fingers. All right, so last time we placed all of our fingers on this position, uh, which is starting at the C4, this one. Made our way up and made our way down like this. And did the same thing with our left hand, but down. But what we've done here are only including five different notes. Whilst we have, if we take a full octave, that's seven different notes and two same ones because we include the lower and the higher C there. So uh, if we take our right hand, we're going to go from the C4 until the C5. If we're using our left hand for this exercise, we're going to start at C4 going down to the C3 and going back up. Now, how do we do this? We have multiple different options, but as a beginner, just start by doing this exercise. When I'm going to the G right here, it's not really comfortable to go up with my ring finger or underneath. I could do that, but it's not really the most comfortable thing. So what I'm going to do instead is not playing until I play my pinky, but I'm only playing my thumb, index and middle finger. And right now it's very easy for my thumb to go underneath my middle finger and then play the F instead. Okay, so if we do it like that, we have the C, D, E, my thumb goes underneath it for the F, and I replace all the rest of my fingers like this. And wouldn't you know, my pinky finger lands on the higher C, which we want to go to. So if we just move on from that point out, we reach it. So if we do that again, we have with our thumb, index, middle finger, thumb goes underneath, pushes the F note, G, A, B, C, C5. Okay, so we can do that a little bit quicker also, like this. Again. Now we can do the same thing in going back. So when we start upwards, we do play all the five fingers because that's the way we ended going up. So C, B, A, G, F. Now I'm going to go over my thumb with my middle finger like this, play the E, D and the C. Okay. So again, if we start with the pinky at C5, we go down like this. Go over with the middle finger and we reach the C. Now if we connect that together, we go upwards to the C and we just go down as well. All right, just like this. Underneath and going down. Over. Now connect them together. And you can go faster or faster. Yeah, we can do the same thing with our left hand. So the same thing when we reach the middle finger, we go underneath with our thumb and then we play along with the rest of the fingers downward and do the opposite in the same way. Okay, so we start, but we go downwards, of course. Thumb, index, middle, go under, thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. So again, under, do the same in the opposite way. So we start with the pinky at the C3, like this, go over, right? So if we play that after one another, we have first going down, under, going up, 
over. And now you can connect them too, like this. Under, going back, over. And now we can do it a little bit faster. And even faster. Okay, so that's basically it. There are many ways in which you can variate on this. Uh, it depends a bit on which note you start off with, because if you start at another position, it's perhaps not that convenient to do the same method. For example, if I would start at the B flat, for example, instead of the C, then I would reach a point like this. Now I should play the E flat with my thumb, but it's not really that comfortable to reach it. it, it it's possible, but, but it's not really the most comfortable. So I could or play towards my ring finger and, and then go under, if I play with my ring and then go under with the thumb, that's possible. Or what I can do also start with the index finger, for example. But then I don't end at my pinky finger, but with my ring finger. There are different possibilities, guys, but to start off with the beginning, just try to use the white keys and go underneath the middle finger with your thumb. That's it, guys, for today. So I hope you stay tuned for lesson three, where we will continue this journey of learning how to play the piano. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos, music videos, and other tutorials for you guys. So thank you very much and see you next time. Bye. And today I'm gonna to show you how you... But this, but this, but what we we start the, the now how do we do this? There are sit. It's perhaps not that, but perhaps just try to use the just try to do next day next week in the next lesson we're gonna.